Hanny Steinfeld, Hanny Steinfeld, born December 11, 1996, is an American actress and singer. She made her breakthrough as Maddie Ross in True Grit, 2010, for which she was nominated for numerous accolades, including the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Thereafter, Steinfeld gained prominence for roles in Ender's Game, 2013. Romeo and Juliet, 2013, Begin Again, 2013, and Three Days to Kill, 2014. She appeared as Emily Junk in Pitch Perfect 2, 2015, in Pitch Perfect 3, 2017, and received a Golden Globe Award nomination for Best Actress, Motion Picture Comedy or Musical for her portrayal of Nadine Franklin in The Edge of Seventeen, 2016. After performing Flashlight in Pitch Perfect 2, Steinfeld released a cover version of the song and then signed with Republic Records. She released her debut single, Love Myself, which has been certified platinum in several countries, followed by her debut extended play, Haze, 2015. She has since released a series of standalone singles, including Starving, a collaboration with both Gray and Zed, which peaked at number 12 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in the United States, and Let Me Go, a collaboration with Alesso, Florida Georgia Line and Watt, which reached number 14 on the mainstream Top 40 chart in the United States early life. Steinfeld was born on December 11, 1996, in the Tarzana neighborhood of Los Angeles, California the daughter of Sherry, Nidomason, an interior designer, and Peter Steinfeld, a personal fitness trainer. She has an older brother, Griffin. Her paternal uncle is fitness trainer Jake Steinfeld, and her maternal granduncle is former child actor Larry Domason. Her maternal first cousin, actress True O'Brien, appeared in a television commercial when Steinfeld was eight years old inspiring her to try acting as well. Steinfeld's father is Jewish. Her maternal grandfather was of half Filipino and half African American descent. She was raised in Agoura Hills and later in Thousand Oaks, California, attending Ascension Lutheran School, Conejo Elementary, and Kalina Middle School. She was homeschooled from 2008 until her high school graduation in June 2015. Career, 2007 to 2014, Career Beginnings and True Grit. Steinfeld at the premiere of Secretariat, September 2010, Steinfeld began acting at the age of eight. She appeared in several short films including in the role of Talia Alden in the award-winning She's a Fox. She made several television guest appearances and commercials. Steinfeld was chosen for the role of Maddie Ross in True Grit when she was 13. The film was released internationally in December, 2010. Richard Corliss of Time magazine called her performance one of the top ten movie performances of 2010 and wrote that Steinfeld delivers the Oratan dialogue as if it were the easiest vernacular, stares down bad guys, wins hearts. That's a true gift. Reviews from Roger Ibert, the Los Angeles Times, and Rolling Stone were also complimentary. The role earned Steinfeld a nomination at the 83rd Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actress. The Oscar went to Melissa Leo in May 2011, five months after Grit was released. Steinfeld was chosen to be the new face of Italian designer brand Mumu. Also in 2011, Steinfeld was cast at age 14 to play Juliet Capulet in a 2013 adaptation of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. The role was originally intended for a 22-year-old actress. Since there was some concern that she would be asked to appear nude in the film, its director explained that when Steinfeld was cast, the script was changed to make it age-appropriate for a 14-year-old. The screenwriter added that the film's purity was important, 
and the main characters don't make love until they have been married. The film was released in October 2013 to poor reviews in the United States and internationally. Steinfeld played Violet, one of the leads in the romance drama Begin Again, formerly called Can a Song Save Your Life? The film was given a limited release in the United States on June 27, 2014 grossing $134,064 on its opening weekend. It opened in wide release on July 11. It was re-released by the Weinstein Company on August 29. Steinfeld starred as Petra Arcanian in Ender's Game, a science fiction action-adventure film based on the book by Orson Scott Card. The film was released on November 1, 2013. Paramount Pictures closed a deal in 2011 for the screen rights to the Cat Patrick novel Forgotten and announced that she would play London Lane in a project yet to be filmed as of 2015. In 2014, Steinfeld was announced to star as Min Green in a screen adaptation of Daniel Handler's romantic comedy book Why We Broke Up, but the film has not yet gone into production. 2015 present, Pitch Perfect 2, Hayes and other projects. Steinfeld attending the 2011 National Board of Review of Motion Pictures Gala at Cipriani 42nd Street in New York City, she was cast as Eliza opposite Ender's Game co-star Asa Butterfield in the film adaptation of 10,000 Saints, which premiered on January 23, 2015. At the 2015 Sundance Film Festival Steinfeld was originally cast to play the female lead in the 2015 film, For the Dogs, but was replaced by actress Emma Roberts. In spring 2014, Steinfeld narrated as the voice of Anne Frank for an exhibition on Frank at the Museum of Tolerance. In October, she was cast to star as Hadley in The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight based on the novel of the same name by Jennifer E. Smith. 33, Steinfeld was announced in January 2015 as a star of the film adaptation of Carrie Pilby, the young adult novel by Karen Lissner. In March, Steinfeld was one of the voice actors for the English-language dub of the Japanese animated film When Marnie Was There. Steinfeld plays Anna alongside Kieran Shipka as Marnie Steinfeld stars in the music video for Taylor Swift's single Bad Blood. The video premiered at the 2015 Billboard Music Awards ceremony on May 17, 2015. In 2015, Steinfeld co-starred in Pitch Perfect 2, alongside Anna Kendrick, Rebel Wilson, and Elizabeth Banks, who also directed. She played some of her songs for a representative from Republic Records at an event in New York City, and the label signed her. In May, Republic Records announced the record deal and that Steinfeld was working on her first release. In April 2015, Steinfeld was cast in a lead role in Break My Heart 1000 Times, based on the young novel by Daniel Waters Scott Spears set to direct. Republic Records the song garnered media attention for its empowering message as well as suggestive lyrics that led media outlets to dump the song in Ode to Masturbation. Steinfeld's debut extended play, Haze, the nickname used by her fans, was released in November 2015. Haze was produced by Madman and Robin and features co-writers Julia Michaels and Justin Tranter. The EP was released to mixed reviews from Pop Dust, Vulture and Nylon in February 2016. Steinfeld released Rock Bottom as the second single in a new version featuring American funk pop band DNC. Her single Starving was released in July 2016. The song is a collaboration with Grey featuring Zed and became her biggest hit to date going platinum in Italy, New Zealand, Sweden, United Kingdom and the United States while also going double platinum in Australia and triple platinum in Canada. Steinfeld played the lead role in The Edge of Seventeen, a coming-of-age comedy co-starring Blake Jenner, Woody Harrelson and Kyra Sedgwick 
and written and directed by Kelly Fremen Craig. The film was released November 18, 2016, to positive reviews, and Steinfeld's performance was praised by critics and earned a Golden Globe Award nomination. Steinfeld signed on to star in the Bumblebee Center Transformers film Bumblebee, the movie, and reprised her role as Emily Junk in Pitch Perfect 3, 2017. Steinfeld released two singles in 2017, Most Girls in April, which peaked at number 58 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in the United States, and Let Me Go in September a collaboration with Swedish record producer Alessa featuring backup vocals from Florida Georgia Line and Republic record songwriter Andrew Watt, which reached number 14 on the mainstream Top 40 chart. In December 2017, it was confirmed that Steinfeld will be the opening act for Charlie Puth's Voice Notes tour. In March 2018, Steinfeld revealed that she is wrapping at work on her debut studio album.